Well, good news tonight for residents at a Montgomery County apartment complex who spent the last three nights without heat or hot water. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is the only local reporter getting results for the residents at Brookside Manor Apartments. So, Alicia, what is the latest? Well, Jessica, we are happy to report that the heat is being turned on as we speak. Behind my shoulder, maintenance crews are now going door to door, relighting the gas pilot lights for the residents that have spent three nights in the dark. Everyone now just hoping that the worst is behind them. 155 units at Brookside Manor spent three nights without heat or hot water. Cell phone video from Saturday shows what PICO has confirmed was an underground transformer fire. The fire also damaged the gas lines inside the complex. Chris Tang hasn't been back to his apartment since the fire department told him to get out. Told us not much really, just hey, you got to get the heck out of there. There's a gas leak. And uh, so we just didn't hesitate and just ran out the house. Chris has a six month old baby and like many residents has had to check into a hotel or try to find a friend or family member with a spare room. Something not that easy in the middle of a pandemic. I'm grateful we have a place to stay. I know some neighbors don't even have that. Now these renters are finding out those costs aren't covered by the renters insurance they're required to keep. The fire did not damage the apartment itself. Because the fire occurred in the common area and no units were damaged, renters insurance likely won't apply. What's more, the rental agreement with Morgan Properties states the landlord is not liable for utilities outages unless there is negligence. I just want to be back home. And fortunately for Chris and the other residents, they can come back home tonight. Again, the heat being turned on as we speak. Now, management did notify residents that they will be crediting them for three days of rent for the days they were without service. The lesson for the rest of us, double check your renter's agreement and make sure to ask what would happen if this situation were to occur where you live. Happy to report these results tonight. For now, that is the very latest here. Live in Hatfield Township, Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jessica. All right, that is good news. Thank you so much.